What's up, YouTube? Cumulo here. So today, I got the pleasure of being able to review, not necessarily review, but give a brief overview and give my point of view of and my takes on a Lamborghini Urus. Um, my buddy down here in Atlanta, Carlo Wilkes, got a dealership, RPM Motorsports. I've actually, over the past 10 years, about every car I've purchased, I purchased from him, uh, Acura MDX, uh, BMW X5, what else, Audi Q7, uh, Chevy Cruze, Jeep Wrangler, didn't get my truck from him, but pretty much every vehicle I've purchased, other than my truck, the, the Porsche Cayenne, I purchased from him over the past 10 years. So. I was looking at one of his Instagram stories the other day and he was pulling in a Lamborghini Urus. So I hit him up, say, hey man, can I can I come film this vehicle, put it on my channel? He was like, definitely. So that's where I'm headed to today. I'm gonna film it, give a brief overview, get my takes on it, and let you guys see it, man. Just um bring something new to the channel. But um also, man, if you ever need any vehicles, dude, he delivers 48 states. He might even deliver to Alaska and Hawaii. Ain't no telling, man, on this guy, man. But um, he delivers definitely 48 states and can get you pretty much whatever you want, man. Just um, hit him up. But once again, RPM Motorsports of Atlanta. Man, I'm telling you, I've bought every vehicle I've had over the past 10 years from this guy at this location. And I'm sure you can find you guys some too. But once again, I want to thank him for let me come and review this car today man because i'm ecstatic about doing this all right guys i hope you guys enjoy like i say bring something different to the channel hope you guys like it if not i guess we'll do something else but um either way i'm gonna love it all right <laughs>
one of the Blanca colors. I, it's not the metallic one, so it's the other one. I'll look it up for you. But man, this sucker's mean. Sitting on 22s, carbon ceramic brakes. Ew. Oh my goodness. That's, oh, that's sick. Tint it out. Ew. Staggered. 325s on the back. 285s on the front. Mean stance. Mean stance. Look at the rear. Man, sick. Make sure we get that in there. RPM Motorsports of Atlanta. See the number. You need a car? Give my man call her up. He'll get you right. Real seat looks like it got a lot of space. I'm gonna see how it is after I set the front seats. Get in this joint. Ugh. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. I don't know if you can see that. Let it reset. Okay, so air comes up when you open it and when you close it. Oh, so the closer you get, once you get in, that comes up. Oh, that's sweet. <clears throat> okay, okay. I love this infotainment setup. Looks similar to the Audi, the Q8, so a tad bit different. The seating position is a little too high for me. I like my seats low and to the back. Oh, it's... Steering wheel nice and nice and firm. Squared off bottom. Got the panoramic sunroof in here. Got the missile launch start. That's what I call it, man. It look like you're about to launch a missile with these. Oh, got the banging over some surround. The banging over some sound system in here. I bet this sucker sounds sick. I'm not gonna program my phone to it right now. <laughs> that wouldn't be right. Oh yeah, man, this this is nice. This leather feels nice too, man. Got the wireless charge down in here. Oh, man. SD card slot. Oh, no. SD card slot in there. SIM card slot in there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to get an angle where you can see it. Oh, yeah. 
USB, two USBs, SD card, SIM card. Man. I can do everything from this car. I'm really liking that, man. I like that color on it. That's nice. Different settings. Drive settings. Suspension settings. Look at this infotainment system. Look at this is climate control. Look at this, man. This is nuts. Oh, I would go back. Oh man, this is sweet. View. See if it's similar to the Audis. Let's see. See if it's similar to the Audis. See what else we got. There we go. Got that map like the Audis have. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. This is. This is super, man. This mirror is nice. Look at this mirror, man. Look at this thing. Get a good picture of that mirror. That's nice. That's the sunroom. See if we can get the shade to come up. So everything in here is, if you've been in an Audi, Porsche, or something like that, it's, it's similar controls, but different. You know, they kind of in a similar place, look a little different, but you'll be able to figure this car out based on your knowledge of an Audi or a Porsche, because it's just it's just a similar format but slightly different just a more upscale take on it if i would yeah that's that's just what i'd say more upscale take on it but it's a it's a similar format like the basics are there from audi porsche but it's a tad bit different So, so Carlo won't let me drive this one, probably because he already know how I drive. This dude's been riding with me since we were kids, ever since I had a license. And I've driven about the same my entire life. So he kind of knows not to even allow me to get behind the wheel of this thing. It's, it'll be all kinds of trouble. But um, I don't blame him. Oh wow, the window doesn't go down all the way until you close the door. That's nice. See that? So if the door is open, the window's up a tad, but once you close it, I guess it's not closed. Once you close it, it goes all the way down. That's a nice touch. There's no frame on the windows. So that's all open, front and back. It's all open, which is super sweet. Let the windows back up. So the pull-up factor in this vehicle here is 
sick. When I say the pull-up factor, I mean basically the tension you'll get when you pull up. And if you want some attention, this here will get it for you. See how much room's back there sitting behind me. Sitting behind me. Yeah. I mean, I got a decent amount of room and I sit way back. I sit back, you know, so I'm 6'1 and typically when I drive, I'm behind the B pillar. <laughs> I can look out of the out of the rear the rear window and I still got plenty of room in this back seat honestly I mean I own my legs you know but got headroom got plenty of headroom and yeah I mean I, I could sit comfortably like this I'm not gonna be moving around or anything like that but I can sit comfortably in here see I can sit comfortably behind someone sitting in the position that I sit in. My seated position isn't typical of probably a person that's 6'1". I kind of sit way back. I'm super relaxed when driving. Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of looking behind the B-pillar when I'm driving, which is super relaxed, I know. Now, if I'm, if I'm driving aggressively, I typically will scoop my seat up and be more attentive to the road and have a different you know seated position but just normal driving I'm seated seating like this with a seat this far back and I still can fit behind myself in this back seat which says a lot it's rare for anybody to be able to sit behind me my kids hate to sit behind me it's 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 tragic sweet too look at this it's like the um that bends with the frameless doors also they don't slide up until it's closed yeah that's sweet got the rear spoiler right here another spoiler on the tail See what this engine looks like. Uh oh. <laughs> this is a new one for me. Is it like the it's like the Audi? Like I say, man, if you if you similar with Audis, if you I'm sorry, if you familiar with Audis, Porsches, you can figure this vehicle out. It's got similar similar components. There's that beast. 641 horsepower, 627 foot pounds of torque. Monster. Top speed 190. Zero to sixty three point six seconds. Beast. Anybody looking for one, come out and ask my boy for it. I'm sure he'll give you a great price on this. If you got the money, I mean, probably be a great price.